Today I'm going to introduce you to my latest project, a Japanese toolbox. Although it's called a Japanese toolbox, it's really a very common design that you see in Asia, Africa, Scandinavia, Europe, and even in the colonial United States. It has a very simple but clever locking mechanism that allows it to keep its contents safe and out of the elements. Mine is made of construction lock. I took a 2x12 of southern yellow pine and cut out the center where the pith of the tree is. I then take the resulting pieces, turn them vertical and resaw them. That means to cut them in half the long way. I take each half and bookmatch the panels. These panels become the basic structure from which the toolbox is built. The clever part of the design is a specific part we call the key. The key is a tapered wooden piece with beveled sides that slides into place. The taper and the bevels simply and securely hold the lid in place regardless of the orientation of the box. The key is made out of the same material as the box and slides in and out easily so that you can take off the lid. As I take off this lid, you can look inside the box and see that it has quite a lot of room. The handles are built into the sides and just that quick, you can pop the top back on by sliding it into place. Then pushing the key back into place. The techniques used to construct the box are simple and time-honored. In my opinion, the vertical lines of grain from the southern yellow pine and the walnut plugs enhance the beauty of this simple box. It's finished with a wash coat of blonde shellac and a layer of furniture wax that I'll renew periodically as needed. My plan is to use the box to transport my hand tools to woodworking classes I have scheduled later this year. They're such good boxes though, I may need to dream up other reasons to make more. 